My name is Christy Drake and I worked at Monroe Clark Middle School and I taught new arrival students which is a specially designed program for newly arrived immigrants and refugee students in middle school and we hosted PAL mentors and PAL tutors um, during the regular school day and for our after school ESL program. Monroe Clark is in City Heights and the demographic is 100% Title I, free and reduced lunch. Generally, the demographic of the school was predominantly Hispanic, but City Heights itself is kind of a microcosm of the world because many immigrants and refugees are resettled there. So the school itself at large was predominantly Hispanic, but in my program, we worked with refugees from primarily Southeast Asia, Central Africa, Eastern Africa, Central America, and Mexico. So the PAL program affected our program in many ways and I and I really see the PAL program as mutually beneficial. One really big area that I really appreciated the PAL program was you know when the kids would first enroll in school and for the first month or two that they're here of course they feel very different and they feel very isolated and you know I'm just one person but if I could get PAL students in there, mentors and tutors, everybody was very curious about the kids. And I think it was the first time in their lives that they realized like, oh, I have something really interesting to offer. And they would kind of develop this sense of cultural pride um, that I really enjoyed seeing kind of flower. And I, think, I don't think that would happen without having so much kind of one-on-one -on -one attention with different adults who made them feel really important. Likewise, I also noticed in the PAL students, because they were also very diverse, a diverse group of you know, college kids, that being around the refugee students helped instill some cultural pride in them, because they were like, oh, I totally appreciate my culture and what my family did for me, maybe more so, or they realized it more after they had worked with the refugee kids. So I saw it really being a nice exchange between the two. But beyond that, of course, in academics, it was a huge help for us. I could put kids in groups. I could put kids who needed more attention and any given skill, and I, and I could have a PAL tutor working with that student. And we always do the field trip up to UCSD, mm -hmm. which is such a big deal for the students because imagine they were in a small refugee camp, mm -hmm. right? And then they come to the United States, and it's like, whoa, there's a lot here, right? and they're just excited to go to school but then you show them this whole university and it just oh, like cracks open the world they're like oh I can do this and and this guy is telling me I can do this and he goes here and he's saying you know his family was the same and so just that mentorship and the role model um, kind of aspect of it was just really powerful I think for the kids and I also think it was for the university students. That was my impression is I've, I've you know, heard from them that they were so moved by the kids. So um, yeah, it was, it's a really powerful program.